Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So last episode we finally got ourselves a good supply of cobalt coming from the south there. You can't actually see it, but it is a little ways away. Probably it was three and a half kilometers away. I'm sure we got a, a few stacks waiting for us. Uh, this thing has been chugging out iron and carbon, but it hasn't been getting much silicone. So before we start moving on today, I actually want to place another miner down. Yes, I do believe that this spot right here should actually get me some silicone. I'll just wire it up. Uh, switchboard is right there. And let's see what we have. 1%. Okay. So let's move it somewhere else. Uh, we'll go look around. Oh, there's a patch of silicone over here. Maybe we can find it over here. Uh, the reason why I need silicone is for uh, glass and level 1 circuits. And that way that'll get us um, batteries and solar panels and everything else. Now where is it? You don't tell me you don't have these, these nodes here and you don't have an actual deposit. Uh, but what I want to do today is I actually want to start getting the base on the new lab set up, I should call it. And I have been, do have an idea of what I want. Well, that's good. Uh, I'm going to be keeping the mining wing over at this end, I think. Just because. Right. I need silicone. Uh, i got a big patch right outside my front door, but I don't want to be putting the miner there. I want to try to keep him out of the way. And I think this might be it. Yes, it is. Looks like it anyways. Let's find out. That's a little blinding. Uh, where is my power? Uh, yeah, we're going to need a couple of switchboards, I think. One there, and one there. Yeah, it's okay. I have the technology. And the resources, thankfully. Alright, we'll go hook this one up here. And oh, whatever. i got to connect this one anyway, so we'll go there. There, and what do we get? Ah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, uh, do we need the extra, extra carbon? Uh, I think I do, actually. So we'll throw a couple containers on here. Uh, once I get the lab set up, I am going to have a, you know, a production room where all the stuff is going to be piped to. And we will go from there. Two, three, four, and five. Uh, I'm pretty sure the power should hold up. We don't need that 1% of iron. We've got more than enough of it. Alright, so we got some silicone coming in. And we have our iron coming in, we have our carbon coming in, we got our cobalt and aluminum. I still gotta go out there and uh, get the other miners set up for the, the silver. But, what I want to do is I'm actually gonna start laying out the, the first floor of the, the base here lab base whatever so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the bottom being it was it's either gonna be a T section or maybe even a, a sort of like a cross where it's gonna be multiple rooms connected with corridors so this is gonna be like the main reception area um, for the sake of how wide the hallways are going to be. I'm going to have to move the entire building over this way, two blocks, and extend it a little bit on the side so I can move the door. And the reason being is this block, or this tile, and this tile is the width that you need to have like a door and the wall sections. So it's actually technically eight blocks. But yeah, we'll have the main main area we come in here. We'll probably have the sleep chamber and maybe a few other things. And we'll go through to, to a hallway to a main main hub which may lead to a tower and when I say may I mean more than likely uh, on the left side we'll have our production uh, the right side I haven't figured it out yet we'll go as we could go and move on there and I missed a tile oh well so uh, yeah let's uh, start by moving this thing I gotta get my blocks ready I did make some batteries too for this tool so it should be a lot faster uh, building stuff well, yeah, so I'm going to move this out. Of, I think i got to move one more tile, and then i got to line up this corner right here with this seam, and then that's 
it's going to make it so I don't have any overhang. And I might do something with the roofs too. I was actually thinking about using uh, armor slopes, sort of get like a like an overhang or something. You can either go with that or we can go with that. Maybe you try to get like a proper looking roof on it. But anyways, uh, let me let me do some house moving. All right, so I've got it moved over a little bit. I've got to widen too. I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the color, and I haven't really decided yet. Like I almost want to keep the floor black on the inside, but I'm thinking black floor, white building uh, outside. We're gonna have a little little bit of a display area, maybe a little courtyard, whatever. Uh, it's mainly just because I want to hide that hole I left there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm mean, just finishing up the roof here. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is this: they've changed the Mark IV tool because you can continuously use it, and it does not use any suit power whatsoever, except for the initial startup. So theoretically, you don't actually need batteries for this. Now that I've said it and brought it up in a video, I'm sure it's going to get changed. Uh, there we go. So now for our corridors, our first one. Uh, I haven't, I haven't finished this in yet because I didn't know what I was going to do. But let's go ahead and. Why did you start that way? All right, so we'll do one. Yeah, do it. Hmm, this is going to be interesting because I got to get those inner wall sections in too. Uh, which is the inner corner. Sorry, inner corner. Six. And why do you start that way? Which way is the top? That's the top right there. But basically what I need is I need this to line up there. Ooh, that's way off. Alright, let's try this again. That's too far over. Is it? One, two, three. Ah, that'll work. I'm going to figure something out with the, the ceiling, possibly. Wait, wait a minute. Is it really eight? Oh, I guess it is. Let's fill this in and see how it looks. Just quickly here. Then we'll start getting a floor plan laid out. I was thinking it was going to be in a little bit more, but that's not too bad. Still a nice wide opening. And it stays with the, the footprint on the floor. Uh, I was originally thinking of maybe mixing up the small armor blocks with the ceiling tiles so I can color it. I was actually thinking of doing the whole thing in small armor blocks so we get some sort of pattern going, but I'm uh, still curious about the block count in this game. Mind you, I have pushed it many, many, many times. So anyways, so basically we want a three length corridor here. And we'll go three if I'm not staying in the way. And then we'll make this black. That's not what I wanted. Okay, and then so it's gonna be one, two, three wall sections. Go back to our ceiling tile, and then is that it? do I really want windows in here? Sure, I got this silicone. I can handle it. Actually, it doesn't matter because I haven't completed it yet. So one, two, three. Same on the other side. And it is getting night time. And go with a handy six here. Oh, and you don't wanna you don't wanna cooperate. So we'll have to do it that way. And like so. 
change to white. And there we have it. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the right color for one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the main hub, get a few more rooms connected, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alright, so here's what I got. That's our, our front room here. We come in here to the, the main hub. Uh, there's going to be, for sure, two different sides on here. Uh, this side here, I'm going to probably going to have like all the resource storage, like the iron, cobalt, uh, well, uh, carbon, yes, that's, and that was the other C word I was looking for. Try to keep that in here, uh, just for main storage. Uh, printers, I don't know, I might keep the printers out on the floor here. Uh, we will have conveyors set up. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been talking about trying to get conveyors to go through, like, conveyor ports on floors. Uh, I have found a, thought of a solution to this. I don't know if anybody else has figured this out, but I will show you what I'm going to do because I will have conveyors going through ceilings and floors if I can. Uh, we have to build this quickly. Me as well. But I already thought about this because of the fact that the conveyors will actually travel through one block. Do I not have mechanical parts in there? No, I don't. There we go. Alright, so we take that apart. So now, we go to the conveyor connector. Where is it? I do not see it because I'm not looking hard enough. There it is. Alright, so now, because of the fact that these go through one block, one thing I never actually did, or can travel one block, one thing I didn't actually check to see is if they could go through blocks. Oh, look at the size of my base already, 226 tons. Oh, you won't connect there. Alright, well, let's try something here. We must do a little bit of mid-building experimentation. And I will need a straight for that, so let's go with a go with a straight, a couple of elbows, which is seven. There's one and two, and then a conveyor connector, which was on one. So now I'll go and finish these up. Quantum mode. Oh my god, those things are expensive. It's a good thing I have some of those somewhere. I have three, so I gotta make one more unless I got one in my little stash here, which is slowly running thin. Alright, well, I'm gonna make one more of those. So we'll craft that. So we actually have a use for Xanite now, which is good. So now, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, make that little U joint. This is just for testing purposes. Okay. So I had to make sure I got on the right spot here. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to travel through walls. Alright, so we go back to an 8. Uh, hit the right button, of course. 8. 7. And then finish this up and I should have enough. That quantum electronic should be done. It would help if I actually moved the move the head in queue. It'll take 30 seconds. Uh, take a quick nap so I can get some daytime here. If I hit the right button, and uh, as soon as the sun pops up, I have some light for recording purposes. Uh, it's better than my flashlight, which can be blinding at times. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. And back up we go, and all I want to see is a green light. I'm pretty sure this should work. There we go. So it does pass through blocks. So that is going to be that is going to be our uh, connector going through the floor, or conveyor. Okay. So. Now, we're going to go ahead and lay out some stuff for the next couple of rooms here. Uh, so, this side, like I said, is going to be for 
printing and stuff like that. Just gonna be main storage. I might just be small containers. Really not too sure what I'm gonna do here. I apologize for uh, any hiccups or anything like that coming out of me. Uh, okay, we'll do a six by six. And one thing I like about the new center of mass too is when you're not actually connected to something, you get the second center of mass, so you know it's not actually connected to the block, which comes in really handy, especially when I do stuff like that too many times. That's not it. All right. So yeah, it's going to be a six by six on this side. Uh, the other side over there is going to be where I, where the food and drink machine is, uh, where the greenhouse is going to be. I haven't decided if it's going to be like uh, a patio setup or like a half room with a patio just for where the greenhouse is going to be. Uh, I do have seeds, but the reasons why I want to keep it over there is because that's where the majority of the plants are. There is a couple on this side too, but that's sort of the food storage area, we'll call it. So, I am going to go ahead and get these two done. Oh, yeah, I'll explain about this too I didn't actually mention. Uh, this main area here is going to be two levels high where the other rooms are just going to be single level. Uh, there will be no windows up top here but there'll be another level up top where we're going to have probably our ma my main storage and eh, maybe we'll get some other things going on up there too. Uh, so but what I was going to do is I'm going to have staircases probably in all four corners going up all the way to the second floor. We'll see how well that works. It might even just have it go up here and turn and then just keep going straight up because the stairs they only go half height as you can see they don't go all the way up so yeah let me uh get all this filled in and i'll bring you back when i got this all done okay so i do have a bit of a floor plan set up uh so we're going to start with the main reception area here uh, i'm sort of trying to color code the floors too and maybe the main front end here will keep the floor white. Let's quickly change this and I'll show you what I've done with the rest of it. Uh, I have sort of planned for future additions and improvements and whatnot. And uh, I will show you those in a second here. Let's just go ahead and finish this up. And I realize holding it down is actually quicker than constantly tapping it because the uh, the animation the gun does. So we'll do that. All right, it's a little dark in here. I gotta get some lights going in. So we get our main hall here. To the left is gonna be the printers. The printers and no, no, the, this is gonna be the main ore storage. I've got the floor orange in here, even though it looks more like a. Uh, we won't even get to the color of that one, but as you can see, I got a conveyor in the wall that's gonna allow me to hook up to the miners outside, which just over there I got this one here for the iron and carbon and I got that one over there for the silicone which is there uh, we can always add more if we really need to like there's a huge amount of iron in this area so if I ever run out I'll never run out and then we go down into here and I decided I was gonna make this the power room because I will be getting a deuterium generator running up and running you know the, the big guy uh, we'll have a food and drink machine in here as well to to process dirty water coming in I, I'm gonna get that out of my face I got the lake just over here. I will get a water pump going to supply everything. I don't know. I might have to get a couple of them going, but so I'll definitely set up for a T over there. But I got a conveyor connector here, so I'm gonna have a conveyor line right across the bottom of uh, the building. So it's gonna come in through there. I might actually have two separate lines. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, anyway, so I got water coming in here. To, for our power supply, there's going to be a refinery in here, there's going to be a food and drink machine in here, there's going to be uh, the power, the, the large deuterium generator, plus a uh, couple of battery banks in here, and I might even throw some solar panels on the roof just to go overkill on it. Then we go over to here, and this is going to be the, the food and drink area. And as you can see, I did the floor in here just for the sake of doing the floor, and in here we're going to have... Not much, it's going to be basically the medium food and drink machine. We'll probably have the med bay in here and then come out here. And then I've got room for one, maybe even two greenhouses if I extend it this way a little bit more. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to put some railings around here, just like up front. I'm going to get some railings around there. And again, we got conveyors set up to 
connect to the the greenhouses and same over here and same with the food and drink machine so there's going to be quite the network and then then from here on in we start moving up and with that since i've been at this for a little while now i'm gonna call the episode here but uh we're definitely getting some strange thing going on i have no idea what it's gonna look like when it's done but i'm sure it's gonna be if you've seen Hello, My Hello Neighbor, I have a feeling this space is going to end up looking like that, where you got all these additions and structures branching off from all sorts of angles. Let's actually take one quick look at our weight before we go. And it has moved, because I'm not in build vision. Where is my center of mass? Oh, there it is. So we are halfway to meeting the helicarrier. <sighs> This is going to be a heavy one when it's done. Uh, next episode, we're going to start getting the machines in, get the conveyors set up, get some power going. I think I have enough to get the big generator up and running for the deuterium. So we'll probably end up doing that. And, yeah, we'll start furnishing this and then start working up. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.